So we all know. <clears throat> so we all know that Yazi's a bit of a drama queen when it comes to flesh and blood, but one big thing I love and hate about this game is the rulings. And there's been one ruling that has always pissed me off throughout Flesh and Blood. And this is Becoming the Arknight. So, Becoming the Arknight reads, choose uh, choose one. It's a zero cost, three pitch, you know, it's on the screen probably. Um, zero cost, three pot pitch card that says, uh, choose one. You can target a card in your hand, discard it, and then search the polar opposite. Like, uh, if it's an attack or not attack action. Uh, Viscerai Specialization. Now, ever since its conception, um, or ever since it's been in Flesh and Blood, you've been able to play this card without resolving the effect. I come from TCGs where you, if you play a card, you have to have the effect. You have to. That that like That's the reason why you play it. So the whole idea where you can like play a card, pay its cost, and then uh, choosing not to resolve the effect just it doesn't resonate with me. And I think I personally, personally fucking think it's cheating if you do that. So, um, yes, cheating. Yes, yes, cheating, cheating. Let's, I'll give you an example. Okay, so me or my opponent, my opponent swings with frontline scout, which says, look at your opponent's hand. I don't block with anything and uh, my hand is becoming the Arc Knight, let's say a ninth blade, read the runes, and uh, remembrance. In my grave, I have a non-attack and an attack in my grave that during my turn, I play remembrance and shuffle those two cards back. If I then choose to play becoming the Arc Knight and then choose not to use the ability, even though... My opponent has full knowledge that I have an attack and a non-attack card in my hand and a non-attack and an attack in my deck. I'm allowed to do that. In my opinion, I think that's fucking cheating. Like, how, how's that not cheating? I Oh, the secret areas. Bullshit about secret areas. Okay, let me start with this. I don't believe in secret areas. I only think you're ever going to have one secret card... And that, that one secret card is going to be the card that you arsenal at the end of your turn. Because you're going to use everything in your hand. So the idea that we have secret areas that lose all, like, uh, meaning and thought as soon as you play a card, like, a, a, as soon as that, that card is over, is bullshit to me. Absolutely bullshit. Uh, let, let's, let's say, uh, um... Uh, righteous Cleansing. You can look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck, banish them, and then after that, they, they don't exist. Apparently, you don't remember that. I don't like that ruling. And I think in the future for Flesh and Blood, I think this is a ruling that should change. If they want to progress the game in a more meta-healthy, or well, not meta-healthy, but like ruling healthy environment. Because it's cheating. Like, like... If I play a card, choose not to resolve the effect, and then I follow that by playing a, a card. Like, my, my, my deck is a full of fucking crack baubles, lad. It's, it, it's one thing that's always boggled my brain. I don't get it. I come from Yu-Gi-Oh. You have to have a card on your opponent's side of the field to target for a card effect. If they have no targets, you can't play the card. Simple, extremely simple, but apparently in MTG, MTG, you can get away with that, and I still think it's cheating, because you're it's saying that you don't have something, but you do. I believe if it ever came down to a situation where a floor judge was there and they go activate ability of becoming the Ark Knight. And then, um, like, let's say they res like, you're versing a wizard and they respond with arcane damage and you pitch a card. If you say that you have no targets left in your hand, and you're like, let's say you have one card in hand. And, like, and let's say we know it's an attack action. I think it would, should be fair to call over a judge and say, 
I believe my opponent is cheating because he says there's no targets left in his hand or deck. And the judge doesn't have to tell you, he can just say that's a legal play. But if he then by follows by playing said card, it's cheating. It's 100% cheating. And, and this is a very quick, small video, but I really hope they change the ruling for this. Because there, there, there's going to be more interactions in the future. We're only two, three years in now. Like, a coming, like the third year now. We got 20 years on us. Can we just change this ruling now so we don't have to deal with it in the future? Like, <sighs> anyways, that's it for the video. If you agree with me, I don't know. I, I guess you just agree with me at this point. But if you disagree with me, go fuck yourself because you're cheating. Peace.